All right, hello everybody and welcome. My name is John and I'm here today just doing a quick video to give you all an update on my Ficus Audrey, which I did a root pruning on earlier this year. And if you wanna check that out and you haven't seen it already, I will leave a link to that video. Um, but a lot of people were concerned and they wanted to know what had happened since then. It's been several months. And so I wanted to just show you how this thing is doing and how it has grown since the root pruning earlier this year. So a quick backstory, um, the reason I root pruned it is because the roots had grown a crazy amount all winter long, which I thought was strange. They were growing out the drainage hole and like latching on to the inside of this cash pot here. Um, it was really quite odd to see that growing so vigorously during the winter. So I figured I would just clean the roots up and uh, film a video about that. So since then, you can see this tiny leaf here. This is the first leaf that came out after the root pruning. So since the root pruning, we've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven leaves on the main stem. And then this is actually a whole new branch that started. And then there's this other bud that has swollen here, but it hasn't popped off quite yet. So, it's done really, really well. Um, it continued to grow. It only slowed down for a couple of weeks while it recovered from the initial root pruning. Now, one thing that I've seen several times on ficus is, because you see this tiny leaf, it's extra small and it's a little deformed. Um, sometimes what I've noticed is that when the ficus has a leaf tip, and the leaf is not able to grow for many, many months, and maybe there's some traumatic, traumatic event in between. Um, it often comes out really small and maybe misshapen. So at the end of last growing season, this leaf was just in this leaf tip up here and it didn't get to grow all winter long. It was waiting till spring and then spring came around and it still didn't get to grow because I repotted and root pruned it. So it just kept getting delayed, 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 delayed. And then finally it comes out and it's like the plant has given up on that and just wants to move on to the next leaf already. Now, I'm not saying that that is a fact and that is actually what happened, but that's what seems to have happened. And I have seen similar thing on some of my other ficuses where you can see where each year starts because there's just some tiny baby leaf for whatever reason. All right, so let's look at the roots. All right, so it's a little more under control. There's still some coming out. These are a lot smaller than what had been there before. So, it went really well um, according to what my goal was because there were these huge fat roots and I wanted to get those out so that the plant would send out a lot of smaller roots and really create a more dense network of roots within the pot. And since we have such little growth coming out of the drainage holes, even though we've been getting a lot of top growth, um, that tells me that it is working quite well. Um, by the way, this has been a fantastic potting mix. This was two parts of bark chunks one part of bark dust, and then one part of Turface MVP. Um, I've needed to water fairly often, but to be fair, this plant wants a bigger pot. It's just not getting it because I love this cash pot and I don't have a bigger thing to stick this in this year. But if anyone had tried that potting mix, and I mentioned it in the last video, I hope you got good results as well. It's been working really well for me. Although next time I would use potting mix instead of the bark dust because that will just hold a little more moisture and absorb nutrients more easily. Okay, so, um, well, would I prune the roots again? Uh, yeah, absolutely I would, but you just have to know, like you just have to ask yourself, why are you doing that? Um, I'm not gonna prune these roots again until it gets to like a five gallon pot. I think for me in my home, a five gallon pot is quite large and I don't really wanna deal with anything bigger than that. So by the time you get to that size and something's been in that pot for a couple years, what I would personally do is to just prune the top back um, and then prune some of those roots when I repot it and then let it go for a couple more years. And you can just keep doing that and help it develop a more finer and finer root system over time so that you're able to get more growth out of that same size pot. Now, please remember that not all plants respond as well to root pruning. Ficuses in general can handle a lot of rough treatment they're really hardy plants. Um, so I knew it was gonna work out and I hope this at least takes away some of the fear that you might have when you're repotting your own plants and you're worried about damaging roots. Um, in general, you know, be as gentle as you can, but 
you don't have to be scared to death of touching the roots or, you know, massaging them free from the tight root ball or whatever it is. And if your plant is outgrown, you can safely prune the roots back um, if you need to. So that's it. I just wanted to share a little bit about how this is going for everyone who had been interested and who I've been talking to in the comments section. Don't worry about this thing. It's doing great. Um, yeah, it, it grew it grew pretty well this year and um, for sure it's going to grow some more before winter hits. So I hope you and all your plants are having a beautiful year and enjoying all the wonderful growth that you've been looking forward to. And thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you in the next video. All right, have a good one.